peace. Oh, please keep your mind at ease. It's obvious. How do you meditate? Here's how I do mindfulness meditation. The main key in mindfulness meditation is to focus on the breath. Is to solely focus on the breath. So go lay down or go sit down. But you'll probably be more aware if you're sitting down. You'll probably stay, you, pro you, you won't fall asleep if you're sitting down, right? Most likely. <laughs> Because I have fallen asleep meditating by laying down many times, especially if it's right before bed. So, how do you meditate? Let's just say you're sitting down, take some deep breaths. Take some nice, full, deep breaths so you can start to relax your mind. You can start to relax your mind because in waking state, our brain frequency operates at a little more alert state. So we need to calm that down. So we take some nice deep breaths to start. We do that. And then all we do is focus on the breath. In, out. Focus how it feels, how the air feels to go through your nose and out your mouth. What does it feel like? Just keep thinking about what it feels like. Focus on the sound of your breathing. And as thoughts will start coming in, thoughts will come in left and right you need to be able to let them go and not judge them. That is the key. That is one of the most important things in meditation. I mean, that is meditation. That's what it is. It's letting go of the judgment of your thoughts. These thoughts are not yours. They're, they're just coming, they're just shooting through like synapses and neurons firing away as thoughts come in. Don't continue to just think about them or dwell on them or branch off into any other thoughts. Just bring your awareness to your breath. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. And what this is so important for is changing the chemistry in your brain. It Meditation changes the chemistry of your brain. You will have less anxiety, your depression will go away, and you will have less fear, you will be more calm the more you do it. And it, and it has to be something you practice like a muscle. You know, you can, you're not gonna get a six pack in one day. You're not gonna grow your bicep two inches in one day. No, your brain is the same way. Those, those neural connections, they take time to grow and to build and to even get rid of the neural connections that, that grow in the, in the fear center. You have to, you will diminish those the more you meditate. So you're sitting there and you're breathing, you're focusing only on your breath. <sighs> How it feels, the noise it might make, right? Just focus on that. You can even close off the back of your throat and it will make a louder noise for when you breathe. So it'll be able, so it will help you with staying focused and keeping your awareness in your breath. So that will kind of sound like this. See, yeah. It basically, you close the back of your throat and people have said that it helps them be able to focus more on their breath. Just because there's a little more going on, right? <laughs> 
And yes, meditation will most likely be boring for you if you're starting out. And that's okay. That's all right. Because the more you do it, the boredom will go away. Why does the boredom go away? It's because you start to love yourself more. You start to have more gratitude for yourself. The more you meditate, that is what happens. That's why it's so powerful. Meditation is powerful. Try it out for yourself. And just focusing on the breath itself can be difficult. Here's something else you can do. You can count your breaths. So as you breathe in, that's one. Breathe out, that's two. Breathe in, that's three. Breathe out, that's four. And just keep counting. Just keep counting. Uh, as, as long as you can go. And most likely, you're gonna have some thoughts start to intrude and you, you might start to trail off. And when you do, just bring your awareness back to the numbers. And if you start to realize that you lost count, you lost track of what number you're on, start from one. Just start from one. Start all over. Okay? It'll, it'll, also, it'll give you a better idea of how you're doing with your meditation. The more you realize that you're having to start all over will be a good indicator of how you're bringing your awareness back to your breath. I have also found that sometimes if you are counting, to high numbers, some, you get into the 70s. For some reason, I found it can be, it can get discouraging, and I'm, I'm not sure why, but you can count from one to 10, and just keep counting from one to 10. That might actually help you be more focused by just, just keeping the numbers low. It can help you with your focus and you can try it out. Let me know in the comments if counting from one to 10 is more helpful for you than just counting to whatever number. Let me know if that helps you because it has helped me. It's like, it's like you're telling yourself 10 more good breaths, like 10 last good breaths. You're telling yourself basically that. And then when you usually tell yourself like the last 10 breaths, you are more focused and you're trying to give it your all. So if you keep it if you keep it smaller, then it might help you give it your all more, if that makes sense. That's really it. Focus on your breath and let go of the judgment from your thoughts. These thoughts are not you. You have a monkey mind that just keeps chattering away. These thoughts are not you. And with this meditation, you'll be able to channel your thoughts more directly and you'll be able to live a more positive and grateful life. So give it a try. Peace, oh please, keep your mind at ease, it's obvious.